How's it going, everyone? Tony here at FX Street. Today, I'm going to be going over Ethereum against the U.S. dollar tether. Let me get into this market. Uh, before we get into this, though, make sure you guys know, check us out at YouTube at FXS Street. Twitter is FXS Crypto. I'm personally on TM Charge 100. I post some trade setups, some market uh, sentiment ideas, on chains, anal analysis, things like that. Um, yeah, check me out, TM Charts 100. Thank you, thank you guys for those of you who have joined. Um, there, okay. Um, let's get rid of that. It's a nice little buy right down there. Um, what can I say about Ethereum, guys? There's volume coming in. Just doesn't uh, doesn't give me a reason to want to short this right now. I do think that Ethereum is a concerning asset right now for for a few reasons. I had a target previously up here. So I had 25, 24 to 2,500. I thought it would happen here though. I was a bit disappointed that this happened. Um, you know, is this really one, two, three, four, five? Was that really how it went down? A, B, C, is that really what you or is this um, some kind of complex situation going on? I, I wouldn't doubt it. Wouldn't doubt it. A. B. I think that I think that even that's a little too deep. U B C, right? A. B. C. It could definitely come back up here. It could definitely come back up here even take out the high a b c d e whatever one two three four five i think ethereum is gonna i think i think ethereum is gonna fall to four hundred dollars but um not this year not this year so this high can definitely get taken out this is a complex situation you got volume coming in um you don't short over you don't short diversions just because you see it in oversold when it's starting to run up. You're going to get wrecked. So I would not be shorting this. That's a nice impulse move. Could be in a three of a three. Okay. Definitely. U B C and then one, two, three, four, five. It could definitely take this move out. It could definitely take this high out. Okay. Crypto season, November, December. I would not be surprised if this target at 2,500 does actually get tagged. All right, I had it up there since way down here. Um, ultimately, though, there's something just something about Ethereum for me that I feel like I feel like that that um the bigger picture is it's gonna come down back into this trend channel here. I think the bigger picture is it's gonna come down here. Yes, yeah, so there there was my X twenty four oh nine. I think the bigger picture is it's going to be in here in 2023. So for now, we're okay. Looks like the war is cooling out. They're going to give us a crypto winner. I mean, uh, a Santa rally. And I'm all for it. Okay. Um, Yeah, I would definitely say, you know, start to get ready. Get your um your accounts funded. Start to, you know, make sure you have a trading plan if you're, gonna be getting on these smaller time frames because they're, they're looking good man you can get in here and make a quick bang it was a nice setup right over the previous order block you can get in here there's multiple ways to make money the market's increasing in volatility i would play it long even on the second pullback over here i would i would still play it long um for now what's the weekly saying not much it's just you know so keep that in mind. So definitely keep that in mind. Okay, this is what we're looking at at the weekly. That's a one, two, three, though. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. You know, I would love to be getting proved wrong. Um, these these charts are those that you need to be. Um, Dollar cost averaging in just in case. Just have a little bit of spot in there just in case. Um, but so far the volume's turning doesn't have as much volume. 
Elliott Wave guys aren't going to even consider buying this until this is, is broken anyways. Um, what more can I tell you? What more can I tell you? I think this is just a range trading chart. I think Ethereum is just play the range, continue to play the range, follow where the market goes. It's not an easy market. It's not an easy market. Shouts to uh, Ekta. She, uh, what did I, what did I even post on Ethereum? Between 1360 and 1385. Yeah. Way past that now. Shouts to Ekta. Ekta had a really good article. Um, Ekta had a really good article, in my opinion, which is uh, the, the whales. So great job, Ekta, on, on finding this. Okay. Um, the whales have accumulated, okay, and they've added 14% more ETH um, since September 11th. So it's a new all-time high of how much the whales holding million dollar million dollar a million ethereum or more there's uh more whales in the market right now holding ethereum so check this article out i think it's really good i think it's really well written and um yeah she posted it before the move happened this is the kind of the kind of extra little confluence that makes you just want to pull the trigger so great job Ekta. um yeah next target for ethereum I, I wouldn't be surprised if this this high gets taken out um even on the next pullback so you know we're looking at another 13 percent. i think it's very reasonable to call that extremely oversold don't short this um invalidation obviously you know still a little wide but hey if you want to this is a three of three so you know you got to stay on these smaller time frames. Make sure you guys know, check us out on YouTube at FXS Street. Twitter is FXS Crypto. TM Charts 100 is where I'm personally at. Post trade setups and on-chain analysis. And I'll see you guys on the next one.